Don't tell me it's time again for another Coke unboxing. Let's get straight into it. Look, we got a big week ahead of us. We got a bit of a big wink. Alrighty. Very nice. Single stitch, nice fleece lining. Pristine print. Approved product, Australian Football League on good sports. Looks like Coogee. It's very cool. It's very old, very nice. Lainies, I want to say. It's soft, it feels brand new, it's great. We're going fast this week, people. No more of that dilly-dallying, get to know each other. Nothing out of the normal here, just silver stuff are looking more red. Hulk has normal in his charcoal pants, red and yellow Wolverine, and deathly ill Spider-Man. So nothing, nothing out of the ordinary here. All fine. But it is very cool. Wanna change his tag? XL. Oh, different people in the back. The Thing, Captain America, and Red again. Who? Out me if they're obvious, but geez, who are they? Anyway, there they are. Spider Man's not feeling as bad anymore. Changes as well. He makes more sense. Captain America does not. Very cool. Hellraiser. Hellraiser. I think it's Hellraiser. Hellraiser. I want to say Hellraiser. Pinhead. Who are you calling Pinhead? Very nice. Chas Ballon. I don't know. C-H-A-S-B-A-L-U-N, whatever. 2000. Very cool. I tried to find this tag online. I could not find anything on rotten cotton. Very strange. Well, it was printed under the influence of illegal narcotics. Drugs, bro. I don't know. It's a bit strange. Also, the tag type is just a bit odd. Nothing on the back. Ah, oh, yes. This one. I was waiting for from the man himself, Thrash AU, now known as Two Step Vintage. Now this one was beat up, and he, being the inventive man he is, sewed it up himself. Some sewing there, there, there. It looks like stitches, quite used, and honestly, that makes me happy because now I can just wear this whenever I want, beat it up, do whatever I want to it. Beautiful. I've always wanted this one. Very, very happy to get that one. So thank you to him. Very happy with that one. Look at that. So on, but in saying that, would love a new one. If it's not too new, I'd love it to wear. But if it's brand new, eh, just put it up. Can't wear it. But yes, very happy with that. Great album. Great album. Great album. Great album. Why would you do this to yourself? Why did you go downhill from here? <sighs> Great logo, though. I'll give them that. This one I was most keen for. I saw it in a story, and I said, "My good friend, please tell me what that is." He showed me. We talked. And oh man, that is nice. The No More Tours Tour. If anyone knows me, Black Sabbath I love. Ozzy's self-titled work. Big fan of, but not as much. But in saying that, you can't deny how good his artwork was. Oh my god, oh man, look at that. The No More Tours Tour. Ozzy Osbourne, Slaughter. The Wild... The Wildlife? Ugly Kid Joe. I'll be honest, I have no clue. No clue what these are. What they're for, what they resemble, what they represent. I don't know, but I love the colours of that one. I love the style of that one. And I love this. And this. That's why I'm happy. So that is great. Single stitch sleeves, double stitch bottom. Oddly the same as this one. Out of every shirt I get, both the same from the same guy. So that's interesting that they do that. Thank you again to my good friend Two Step Vintage. Please check him out if you haven't already. The man is great. The man is lovely. The man will give you a good deal and you'll be happy on your way. You'll think, well, I got a good deal and now I've got some good clothes. And he will be the one to do it. Ah, uh, yes. This one is very cool. 1990 The Guardian horror movie. Now this one I hadn't even heard of. Our mom is a huge horror fan, so I know of a lot of it just because of her. I have never seen this or heard of this. I looked it up. It was a flop, which is even cooler. I've always loved merchandise of things that are flops because to me that means that there's going to be less demand for it and so less people would have bought it, so there's less stock. And usually if it's a flop, people are like, yeah, get rid of it. So to find something of it is very cool. But even my mom was like, I haven't heard of that. Looked into a total synopsis. She's like, no, I haven't heard of that. Very interesting. Great colors. It's brand new, which is crazy. On a Screen Stars tag XL as well. Very good. Single stitch. This is beautiful. This is great. Look at the colors and the eeriness of that. It's beautiful. And there's nothing on the back. Except a storage mark. 
Jesus. What was that? Very cool. Look, this is an odd one. I don't... I don't usually buy weird stuff like this. I don't know. I saw it and was like, it's pretty cool. Actually, what am I saying? I always buy weird shit like this. Always. A Nirvana fabric poster. Because why not, really? Give me one reason why not. I'm gonna do a little slide thing so you can see it. He looks so different with his makeup. I wonder if he wore like eyeliner, it looks like. There's old mate Dave Grohl over here. Beautiful. Look at this man. Fantastic. And yeah, I'm gonna be uh, that guy. I don't I don't remember his name. Christ and now it's Celtic. Anyway, yin yang on the corners. Nirvana all around, very good. Strap on one end, that's about it. Oh, this is the other one. No, no. Alright, there you go. Oh hell. This one. Very nice. Love seeing Acme. Very big fan of the Sydney 2000 merch. I don't know why. I think it's just mentally I'm like, Yo, this is sort of cool. We have it in our own country. In my state. So, I don't know. It's very cool. New Millennium Opera House Adult Short Sleeve Tee. Navy Large, $35. Very cool. Fish and license merchandise. Very nice. The games of the New Millennium. Yeah, shout out Australia for that, bringing in the new millennium with the Olympic Games out of everywhere. I was like, cool. Glad we did that. Might have to, uh, you know, hit on my good friend. Christ, and now it's all the Golden Thrift, because that man has a great Olympics collection. So, might find he likes that one. Especially with the tags. He's the same as me. He loves things with tags. Just to not wear it. Doesn't even want to cut them off. Just keep them on. Which I am well around. And then, oh. <laughs> and then, <laughs> There we are. Big one. So let's get right to it, shall we? <laughs> oh, they packed it pretty well. I'll give them that. Beautiful. Global Basics tag. Never seen that one before. XL. Oh my god, they killed Kenny. 1997. Okay, I thought it was going to be 98. That's very cool. This is basically brand new. So all of these that I'm about to show you were from the same dude who was a collector. Sorry, his son was a collector for 25 years, he said, and he was getting rid of some stuff. So I was like, oh, I noticed something. Do you have more of this? Voila. That's where all of this comes from. He already had all of these posted up, all the South Parks, because there are multiple. So no, that was not my clever doing that was just luck brand new have seen that one before i've also seen this one before but i've seen many variants of it the coolest t-shirts logitel xl 1998 there's a bit of storage wear but that's about it you could probably wipe or wash them off um we've got burned to a crisp been trampled by cows touched by death impaled dismembered bullet in the head but yeah that one's great brand new now, majority, if not all of these, will be for sale, but I will show you there's one that I'm like, that's mine. This is very cool, never seen this one. On a top heavy too, but I've never seen this one. Like a Raglan baseball tee. Kenny McCormick, sleep well, little child. The Lord holds thee now. Very cool, 1998. Kenny, you got a little bit of bad luck there with a sword in the eye, it looks like. Like, what the hell? Very good. And the old Gildan as well. Gildan Heavyweight, large, 1997. It's all a bunch of tree-hugging hippie crap. Couldn't have said it better myself, mate. This one I wanted to keep for myself. This one's great. Gildan Heavy Cotton, because one, great colors. Two, got all of them, and kitty. Three, got the background photo frame. Damn, city in the background, I love that. Got a mom as well, and cartoons kick up, and they do, they really do. So that one is my one for sure. Very good, that's all the South Park they had. But then, some more. Brand new, The Mummy Returns, 2001, on a Tennessee River, adult XL. Very nice, brand new. Nothing on the back. Don't worry. Couple of these I got because I've never played the game. I just like the look of them. And who knows, maybe in the future, game tees like this. Watch out. Think about it, people nowadays sell some things at a new age because they're like, eh, it's not vintage, it's bleh. You get it when you can. You stockpile it later in the future. Now it's 20 years old. Now it's worth a bit. And it wasn't high demand back then, so people are wanting it now because it's even more rare. So that's my two cents. But in saying that, you could be like, Mr. Coatman, you are strange. Why is anyone thinking 20 years in the future? Because I want to, okay? I like to overthink, I like to think forward. So that's what I'm doing. So you don't have to, but that's me. 
Age of Mythology, Microsoft Game Studios, Ensemble Studios. Blue Whale, size large, really nice thick quality, very cool. They have always freaked me out. Dog men. So, yeah. And there's nothing on the back. Homeworld, Cataclysm. I want to say, oh, I may have said that wrong. I'm not doing it justice. Anyway, just Ozmates, Australia, large. Just in case you didn't know the size, double check, large. Very cool. This, I think, was World of Warcraft. Correct me on that if I'm wrong. Nothing in the back. Now these are what got me. I have had this one before. Twice, actually. I've been lucky enough. Somehow, got a third one. And I've only ever seen three. All three were, my, were mine. So that was very cool. Well, four, actually. Two of them were with a bathing Blake. Shout out to him. Very cool guy. Very lovely. Um, I got my first one from him. Now, it doesn't matter what your game is. It doesn't. Just play again. THQ on an old Johnny Bob and JV tag XL with a nice EB electronic boutique on the side. On the back, Smackdown 2, Know Your Role. So this one is from 2001 for Smackdown number two, evidently. Very cool, I've had two of them, but I've only ever seen this one, but never had it. And I was very happy to get this one. Smackdown number one, the game, and single stitch and on an all sport, which is one of, if not my favorite vintage tag, because they are always quality and always so nice. So I saw that and was very happy. So it's just regular SmackDown, but then on the back, finally, The Rock has come back to PlayStation. March 2000, and it's got a little PlayStation logo and a WWF logo and a THQ logo and another logo that I don't know. What more could you want? Actually, I can tell you what more you want. One I've never seen before. This. Wreak havoc on the Federation. Again, same as the SmackDown 2. Electronic Boutique on the arm. THQ on the bottom. Very cool. Johnny Bobbin. Size M. No mercy for the Nintendo 64. I have never seen this. I apologize for all the tapping. Just excited because of how cool all of this stuff is, but this is fantastic. Thank you very much for joining. This is all the stuff I got and it is very cool and I appreciate you being here and it was very fun and let's do it again real soon.